hello family you welcome back to my channel uh, this is your boy yo tech and today you know i promise you that i will be doing a video where i will convert a radio now before me i have a radio here you can see the radio that is p using it's ife px 186 u you can see it's a radio you can see all the function there you can see the tuning and everything you can see phone and everything there and you can see the power you understand so it's a radio so what i will just do today is we'll work on this radio <laughs> and we're gonna convert it to an mp3 play i believe you're gonna love it somebody say you're gonna love it if you like this video just in that your in that comment section just type their type there let me see the type of radio you have like the old school radio you have that you want to really upgrade like maybe you have one whole skill PMA radio that you want to convert at least just to hear good music or any abandoned radio you have that you just want me to know so that we know what you two you are also working on in that comment section just mention the name of that radio and if you vibe find this video very helpful just match that like button and do it to like and subscribe to this channel once again welcome back it's your boy your tech creation okay so because of time i would have loved to start losing this thing one by one you don't but i don't want to take much of your time because this video would definitely be very lengthy a bit but i understand your time you guys like your time <laughs> and i like my time too okay so i've taken my time to just lose this so in respect of the one you have is very simple take your screwdriver lose it very simple like abc right okay this is my own screwdriver i don't know the one you have with you there just put it in Hodo's hole. Hodo's hole. Lose everything out. So I've lost this one already to save time. Okay. So this is the hopper part. You can see. I have my speaker here. When you are removing, please be very careful. Ensure you lose every boot. Any place that is hard, just open it gently. Don't force it to that you don't spoil some spot. Stop there. Okay. You can see this part here contains my speaker here. Okay. So to check, first thing, check if you're, oh, sorry, don't let me go too deep. We want to convert today. Over time, we'll work on that one, okay? So this is my speaker. Okay, let me put this one aside here. Okay. And then this is the panel. This is the guy, okay? Let's remove this guy. You can see. This is the radio. Okay, let's remove this part, see? This part contains my battery. And this part, this one is connected to my programmable SMD part there where I can click on the play, but we don't need all this guy. So forget about this. Okay, let me fling this one away too. What we really need is this. Is what? It's this. Okay. Now I want you to really put mine to this. Your own panel may be different from this. Fine, no problem. She will get it. Okay. Okay, let me remove this wire also. I don't want to complicate things. Okay. Now, what you are seeing here, you can see this is just to set my frequency. There's a part that is here. I have a switch here and everything. You are less concerned. Now, this is the volume to switch it on. You can hear that sound. So, this is the volume for that. Okay. Now, the back side, if you look at the back side here. Now, please don't get confused here. Okay. Now I'm doing this to save time, that is why. Okay. But if you want me to do like I should pieces everything from stage one and to start, you don't mind the time problem. Okay. Now these two guys you see here, they are connected to my power supply. Like my power supply I mean. Okay. This is my power supply here. That is the only thing you need. You need to just know your power supply and mind you. You know your power supply will be connected to your battery now if you check this the other casing i remove you know this is my battery where it use 1.5 battery two of it which makes it three volt battery okay so just the, the side you cut here and the side you cut here this are the wire there do you understand now so the, the, this are the wire connected to this area this is the positive side and this is the negative side let me just move closer this is the positive this is the negative okay now it's very clear now forget this one 
not, you're less concerned about this one you're less concerned about how this one okay so now let me ship this guy here to help me grab this guy okay I just grab this guy oh the guy needs support <laughs> okay so we have this here now okay remember I said this is my power supply this is for my positive this is positive and this is negative right okay so what we want to do is this please put your mind to this okay now let's connect this to our power supply remember this is my power I have one adapter here you understand if you check one of my video I'll explain the way this guy work okay no. okay so my negative side goes here I don't want to show that to take time okay negative comes here I just want to power this side guy okay why my positive side comes to the right okay I believe you understand that very simple positive negative so this guy is powered now now let's switch it on and see what happens you can see the lights there let me switch it off back don't mind this this bulb is 41 can well i don't want to go into fixing that but the radio is working on but let's be sure let's connect this speaker to it okay and if you look at this place if you take your own board, you see where there is speaker there. So connect it back there. Okay, let me connect it. Okay, so this is my speaker now. Okay, speaker. Okay, if I switch it now, let me hand it back. See that it's working. You know, I've disconnected the antenna here. That is why you cannot hear any sound from me. Okay, that one aside. Now, there is one thing you must get from that your radio. Now, if you look at this case in here you see one part there i don't know what your own looks like but my own have fm am usb sw so i'll switch my own to usb there that is um, you own just switch it to the part where you hear no noise again like there is no frequency there is no am modulation or switch so you see that is my am sw fm and sw so i want the quiet place there if I put it to FM now, you can see the way it's done. Okay. So put it to SW. So we just want to be sure that sun is entering this guy here. Okay? So put it on it now. Now you're gonna want to shift to this area. Now look at this place now very well, please. You know this volume here. This is your volume here. Hmm? That is where we want to tap our major input from like where you want to tap where you want to connect your audio source from and now i will be in need of this cable now this cable you can use to connect your phone yeah just get one this is my own is stereo but i just connect you know stereo this is four four pin here your own may be three your own may be two whether mono or stereo no problem so this is my stereo now you can see I have four wire, but what I do is I combine them two two. I need two for my negative leg and two for my major input. So that is what I did there now. Okay. So now what I want to do is this. I will carry now. Okay. So we want to determine the major place where there is input there. Where to tap our input from. Okay. So 
go back to your multimeter. Now, remember that was the reason why I said you guys should put your mind to this. Now, we want to go to continuity. You can see it here, continuity, this part here. Once you get to that part, fine. Drop your multimeter, then gram it. Can you hear that sound? Okay, once you hear that sound, then you are good to go. So what we want to do is this. What you want to do is this. Now, the negative leg is this white, remember? This is our negative. And this is our positive, right? From the input, let me zoom. Okay. This is my negative leg and this is my positive leg, right? Okay. So now, let me connect my negative leg to this guy here. So this is my negative here. To this place. Please put your mind. And then, this is my volume. This is my volume. You know, that volume has like five legs. I have one year, one year, one year, one year, one year, one year. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, six legs. Now, this is the way I understand why it is there. Now, let me show you. Okay, now look at the volume where. Now, if you look at this side, you can see one pin here. You can see another pin. You can see another pin. Just follow it around, you understand? So trace it to the back. You see those pin I'm talking about now. Sorry, my negative leg has caught. So let me... Okay. Okay, let me just attach it. negative leg it, it just cut now so actually so don't think you have to cut your own no this one was just due to the case okay I should have sued that but I don't have light currently so you understand so I'm just take but they're still working I have removed the speaker. Let me put in this speaker. Okay. Already is still working. Okay, fine. So back to the business now. Sorry about that. Okay. So this is my negative now. So remember, we've traced those leg of the volume to this side. Those five pin are around this side. Now, what you want to get is this now. <clears throat> Let me move closer. Let me remove that speaker again please look very well now if you look at this board now for example on this part here what you are seeing there is your LMD I don't know the type of LMD here but like for example let me show you one now okay my LMD okay okay let me show you okay I'm coming let me show you one LMD Okay. Now, if you look at this part now, I, I, I have, I have my LM three eight six. You understand? This one is big. I if I want to do a DIY of any experiment. So same thing as what is here, but this one is just small. This one is big a bit. For big amplifier, those ones will be bigger. You understand? But this one here is small. You understand? It's micro. Okay. So I have the big one here. So that is the way it works. You can see I have four leg here, four leg here. Okay. So that is get that about that one. And if you look at this part too, you can see the four leg. You can see the four leg there too. You understand? Okay. So what we want to do now, we want to trace the side of that LM that give off sound. Okay. Let me connect my speaker so you hear that. Okay. Okay. Let's click now. This is my negative now. Remember, our multimeter is on continuity test. So, if my if I put my negative here, like one of the probe now, one of the probe will be on the negative side. Now we'll go to the LM. Now, let me zoom more. Okay, we'll go to our LM. Now, there must be a side there that will give you sand. 
one side must definitely make noise there okay if you look at this side there can you hear sun no sun no sun no sun let's look at the other side no sun no sun no sun but one side here is giving us what sun right okay so what we have to do is we can tap our inputs like one of the major legs will come from that side. So let's trace that line now. That line is going like this, to this place, to this place. You understand? So let's take, you can hear it now. Let me show you again. You know, the, 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 this LM gave us sand around this side. That is where we can tap the input. But you know, if you want to show that at this point, it will not be very fine. You understand? So just trace it to this part. You understand? Trace it that line. So I saw it here now, it's on this part. You understand? You understand now? And this side is still transferred to this side. So if you follow it, it's not here. It's here. It got to this side. It got to this side. It got to this side. But nothing here, nothing here. Remember, these are the leg of the volume here. So we have it. Is not here. This one is just continuity. That is to tell you that this negative polarity got to this place. But if you look at this side, we still got the input here too. We got it here too. It's here. It's here. So you can decide to solder yours from this side. It will work. Here it will work. Here it will work. Here it will work. So to save time, this wire. So since we got the sand here, we got the sand here, we got the sand here, we got it here. So I just decided to tap this wire on this port here. From that place where I'm hearing that sand. Do you understand what I'm saying? I can hear the sand here. I can hear the sand here. And I can hear the sand here too. You understand? So if you like, you may tap one here. If you like, you may tap it here anyway. But I decide to tap it here. So that is why this wire is connected to that side. So if you hear it. You know, that is the way you amplify your sound, okay? So now, that is that about that. So let's pick your normal audio inputs now. So, I have my audio input here. So this side here is the side that I will, I will connect to this side. Why this one is the negative side? That is this down part here. This down part is this side. Why this other side? Is for this is my two pin. So whether you are using mono or stereo, I'm using stereo, but I just attach all this guy together. And this is my negative side, and this is for my main input from input signal. You understand? Since this is given the sound, so I'll connect this main input here. I should have so that but that will take time again. So let's just cut off. The noise, let me just disconnect. Okay. So let's attach this guy here now. Okay. So one, you've connected this guy here. You know, this is my negative polarity. You can decide to tap this one anyway. Let me connect my battery back. Okay. Okay. You can see. This side is making is working already now. So the reason why you are still hearing that noise is because we've not connected the other leg yet. So now this one you may decide to tap this one from your negative side. You understand what I'm saying now? This is my negative hook. If I connect it here, it will work. And if I like, I have negative pull here too. It will work too. Okay. Okay, so let me go back. Now, but since I don't want to show that, you know, this is my negative side of my battery. Or I tap here, but I don't want to show it now. But I still want to do some other things, okay? So I will carry this side and come here. You see? Once it's connected, you know, it's the grand connection. The ground like out. Please get what I'm doing. It's very fine. You know, this is my positive polarity of the battery, and this is the negative polarity because this white goes on this board on this side here. Let me zoom so you understand better. Okay. Like this, my negative comes 
to this white and transfer to the negative leg of this major input here and this is the positive side remember we got our signal on this side we got it here we got it here here and also here so we decide to tap it here you understand so that is why i connect it to my major signal you can get that sound so the negative side i may decide to connect it here but because i don't want to suit now because of the time so i just connect it to my negative leg of that battery you know it is a grand so that's why i connect it here and you see the noise stop but before i connect it, it was making noise at first if you don't hear that back the video you hear it okay so now let's go back to that so our chord now okay now let's go and maybe it's working now so you can see it's working now so let me pick up a phone now. let me pick up my phone and let's check Come and let me find one audio you want to play. Okay. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Sorry, my. Okay, now let me plug it. Let me turn my volume down. Now let me connect it. Of the loudness, let me find a very simple audio. Uh, wait, let me find audio from YouTube. Okay, sorry. Okay, okay, let me find one audio here now. Any video, let me just pick one. I just need something really sweet. Okay. You can see my phone is not, my phone is just playing now, so let's plug it. If I load it now, you see it's stopping. If I connect it, So guys that is how to work on that so do it to like this video thank you so much